I am completely convinced you guys actually, literally, in every way, hate my guts. As if reacting to the episodes isn't enough, you told me there's like this side story or middle episodes called an OVA or an OVA. Specifically, there's two episodes for Levi. What you're telling me is I'm about to witness 40 plus minutes of Levi, and you think that's okay? I hate you guys so much for doing this to me. So, I'm gonna shut up because... There's no time for talking. It's Attack on Titan time. I have no idea what to expect from this. Is this an episode? This is from season one. So, people might still be alive that died in the show already. Reiner might still be here as Reiner. I'm already loving the music and the aesthetic. Like, we haven't even seen this underground city yet. Just like a picture of it saying this is where people are evacuating. What is this music? I love this music. When this music comes on, guys, is this gonna be a whole thing? Oh my god, we're getting Levi! Who the fuck is that? Is this like Levi's come up story? I swear to god. Oh my god, it's Levi's come up! It's little Levi! The military police even sucked back then? Little baby Levi's voice! What happened to these characters? Oh god, they're gonna die. I'm just getting to know y'all. Oh my god! It's so cool to see a new area in this show's atmosphere. Wow. Remember this intro? I feel like a veteran now. I haven't heard this in a minute, but wow, look at this. I'm loving this so far. What's with this? Why is this so artistic? The music, the setting, like, I'm loving this. We need a whole show like this. Oh, they're not part? Oh my god, I read that wrong. They're not part of it. Don't, 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 don't cut Levi's hair. Oh god. Is this how he joins? So you're telling me the city evacuated to this part of the world? The most corrupt shithole in the universe? Oh my god, this is sad, man. This is like Manhattan. I just got to know these characters and I'm sad. I'm sad, bro. I feel bad for Levi. I don't even feel bad for the characters. I just feel bad for Levi. Man, I forgot. Like, some characters don't exist yet. I'm like, oh, Aaron's knocking on the door. Aaron's probably a fetus right now. He's probably inside of his mom's stomach. Levi never changed. Oh my god, that's something he would say to, 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 to Aaron. Is that a little bird? Why is that a little bird? I love seeing this side of Levi. Like, he's not with law enforcement right now. You got straight up brutal Levi, as if he's not brutal enough already. But now there's no laws, there's no rules. I wouldn't fuck with Levi. Look how he's dressed. You don't fuck with a character dressed like that. That's a main character attire right there. Man, we need a show that's dedicated to different sections of the world. I would love that. I love this whole aesthetic. Levi's gonna say something very Levi right now. Levi's an official word. You ain't get it. What? You had to touch him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love this. Oh, that's what you get for touching him. You don't touch Levi. What are you fucking crazy? Yeah, you soiled the shirt. Don't, don't get dirt on his shirt. Look how dapper he looks. Now I know why he's such a clean freak. He doesn't change. He's like this in the present day in season three. So this is how they formed together. Okay. She's dying. Now. And him. Because I don't know who the fuck they are. Please, I'm gonna cry. I love birds. It's like a... It's like a symbol for them. The bird is literally them. It's like a symbol. I want one. I might get a channel bird. Let me know down below if I should get a channel bird. We'll name it Isabel too. I don't know, guys. I don't know. 
this show is just doing something to me that no other show or form of media has ever done to me other than music but still this is really touching me right now it's like she brings in this hurt bird she sacrifices her life for this bird that can't fly but with a group this bird's gonna fly they symbolize the bird there's so much symbolism in the show and especially in this to spread your wings and to be free if levi accepts you you know you're doing the right thing in the world. Learn to clean? Okay, is that why he has Eren cleaning after he goes god mode in titan form? It's like Mr. Miyagi in Karate Kid. Like, you gotta clean to learn the techniques. Wax on, wax off, Eren. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. It's Squad Levi before Squad Levi. This is like Thug Levi. What is this? I want a whole show like this! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My heart. My heart, the feather. Oh, my. Oh, shit. What is this, man? I love this! Oh my god, why did I react to it sooner? Cut it. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Was Levi ever, like, polite? I don't want polite, <laughs> Levi. Oh my god, they're using the guy's injury as leverage for them to do the job. He knows his name. Oh, yo. You do not poke around Levi's bush. Even though I would like that, it sounds good, but still, you don't do that. Can we get a whole show in the underground? I don't even care if it's new characters, just, I love this. When the show ends, they better continue from, like, a different perspective or some shit, because this is great. The music in this is incredible. The story that they're telling in just a single episode or two parts is incredible. <laughs> Oh my god, I have chills. I love how he's always been a leader. Now it all makes sense. Oh shit. I wouldn't listen to that. I don't believe this motherfucker, but still. They heard that and they're like, let's get some blood on our hands. I already missed the bird. Is the bird in present day? Is the bird a titan? Something's bad gonna happen to these characters because I don't know who they are. And I'm getting fucking worried now. Bro, I love how she calls her bro! Oh my god, her dying is gonna hit even harder. Yo, if that fucking dog dies, I'm leaving. Okay, get out of here, please. Glow. Yes, you're safe, you're safe, you're safe. Oh, am I gonna see God mode Levi, aren't we? I'm here for that! Fuck these people, they're thugs, kill them. Military police, you think they're gonna do anything with them? Yeah. Come on, they don't even do anything now. Uh-oh, you don't wanna, you don't wanna fuck with Levi when he has that look in his eyes. And he always has that look in his eyes. Oh, it's like time jumped, you see the reason for everything. Oh no, she's gonna die. I don't wanna see it. Guys. Oh, shit. Levi, no! Don't tell me that! Look at this animation! Did they pour a budget into this animation? For this OVA? OVA? Look at the action! Look at this shit! The hand-to-hand -hand combat! We were- Oh my god, we're getting Erwin and Levi! What the fuck? Oh no! I never thought I'd see this, ever! I never thought I'd see this day, man. I'm, I have heart palpitations. Oh, God. He's smiling. Oh, shit. Why do I worry about characters in these flashbacks when I know they're still alive in the present day? I don't understand. Levi's not gonna talk. You could literally peel his fingernails off. He's not gonna make a sound. I I'm convinced. Oh, my 
my god. I've never seen Levi tossed around like that. This is so weird to watch. I can't believe what I'm watching right now. This is how they met? Are you serious? I would have never guessed, man. That's crazy. This is how he joins? What? That's how he joined? He was bribed? Join? Are you going to jail? Erwin knows what's going on here. He's smart as fuck. Even if he's a thug, it doesn't matter. Oh, we'll join the damn scouts! Oh my god! Thank you, yeah, you better be to be continued. You better be continued, we're going to you right now. Part two, and this is the last part. So we're gonna wrap this all up now? Shit. I knew it, they were gonna, there's gonna be inter internal problems. What happens to them though? Erwin's greatest decision was going down below the city and finding Levi. Oh my god. This is why he's the leader. I can't believe it took me last episode to finally see Erwin in action. A flashback. Hanji! Oh, little Hanji! <laughs> Y'all better greet him! Oh, what's gonna happen to her? Berlin Church! Oh god. Bro, Levi has his arms crossed. He's like, I'm better than all y'all. Come on. Look at Hanji. She ain't Commander Hanji yet. Mm, only if she knew. This is how they made it to the city. Maybe I should be a thug. Maybe then I'll have a luxurious life. Levi doesn't need a bed. This room better be clean. Yeah, what the fuck? Y'all better clean this shit. You're telling him to keep it clean? Yeah, huh? Don't you know who he is? It's Mr. Clean. You know, I'm ra you know I don't rank anybody, buddy. Ranks don't mean shit with Levi. You know what Levi reminds me of? When you're playing a game like Overwatch or something, and you have like these platinum level characters, and then there's a bronze. But this bronze is so fucking good, you could tell he had another account, and he's boosting, he's smurfing. Levi's literally a smurf. Yo, it's all part of the plan. Some shit's about to happen, bro, and it's all resolved in this episode. Nikola Surobo. Nicholas Lavolf. Uh, another Nick that I can't stand. First is Pastor Nick, and now Nicholas Lavolf. Am I the only good Nick? Oh my god, this is interesting. This is all part of their plan. But Levi's gonna be battling morality. What I like about this is it's gonna be like a choice. Levi was given this opportunity with his other two comrades to have a better life, to join the Survey Corps and to fight for the good side, or just to, ha just to have a better life in general. Or is he going to go along with the plan and basically live back below the surface or go to jail? It's like he's battling between these two things now. That's so interesting. No way. I wonder if Levi could actually have disposed of Erwin if he put the effort in to do so. I, I want to see that one on one on one. I'd pay for that battle. Get, get them in a UFC cage. That foreshadowing is ridiculous. This show has a lot of that. Oh my god, we just saw the first episode. I want a whole show about Erwin and Levi. This is incredible. This is like a dream come true. My dreams and my prayers were answered. I don't pray for my family at night. I pray for a show about them. Erwin's goal has always been about humanity's future, even in the present day, and I love how they keep that. Yo, the red and the blue, what the fuck? How is this real? This is amazing. <laughs> Erwin's no stupid motherfucker. He knows what's going on. Man, what happens to this girl though? Her connection with the with the birds, so she's connected with the god horses now. She's gonna be unstoppable. How does she die? Haji looks the same, but still, it's like it's like pre Levi Haji, so she's not fully Haji yet. <laughs> That's my man's. Hanji's in love with him already, she knows. 
Oh! Yeah, grunt. No, you skipped through that shit. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh! It's shit. God mode, Levi, baby. Y'all better treat him with respect now. Clean his bed. Make sure that place is spotless now. Fuck, man. I don't want this to end. How much time is left? Oh, God. Please go for another hour, ten, a day. Wait, are they gonna go to jail? They're either dying or they're going to jail, these two. I don't think everyone wears a belly band, too. Those words don't even go together. He's still battling this in his mind. Yeah. He's that. Oh my god. This is gonna be sad. Just say you have COVID. That's it. I'm sure something like that exists. Oh no. No! Don't fight! Just listen to him! Oh, they're gonna do some stupid shit. This is why they're not in the show anymore. Man, that's a yearbook quote right there. God, I want to travel back and make that my quote. If you still live the life like you did below underground, it doesn't matter where you are. You'll always be underground if you don't change. I love that. Oh, the song is back. You two are going below the surface. Below underground, you're dying. Oh my god, no. Oh no, not the bird. If I know anything, y'all don't take a step forward until Eren comes into the corpse, so... Y'all just going 10 steps back right now, that's all I know. Ain't no power of humanity in this episode. Uh huh. The birds. She's out there now. She's outside the walls. From underground to the walls to outside the walls. What a life. <laughs> Don't say that because she is going to be the first to die. This guy's like waving. Like, hey, Levi. They've never seen one before. Oh, shit. Oh. Ugh. What the fuck is going on here? What are they grappling? The clouds? Or the trees? Oh, okay. I'm not. Oh, I was losing it for a second. Or oh, the horses! Yeah, that's how I would die with a smile on my face. Like, finally, I'm dead. Bro, if these two characters die, Levi is gonna go fucking supersonic mode. The first Titan kill! Uh huh! Oh no, what are y'all doing? Oh no! Good job, bro. Get that tight kill before you die. No, in this show, there's no happy ending. So I have no hope for these characters. Y'all are too happy. If I know one thing, happiness does not go with the show. Wow. Everything makes sense. Oh man, I love Erwin even more now. Look at Levi's face. Oh, shit. Yo, what would she say? Are you serious? Don't be saying that shit out loud. Levi is realizing a lot on this journey. Like, this is growth. This whole OVA or OVA is about growth. Oh, God. Of course it's raining. No goodness comes out of rain in this show. Oh, my God. We're going to see Levi versus Erwin. Oh, God. That's the last time he sees them alive. Don't tell me that. That was foreshadowing right there. Ah! The smoke, the rain, the fog, it symbolizes how foggy his mind is. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is why he's gonna keep fighting with them. Because he's gonna have this hatred towards Titans. He doesn't want to go back below the surface. He wants to fight these fuckers. Oh my god! They're gonna be dead! 
I've never seen Levi fall. I don't even know what to say right now. Oh my god, I thought they would casually die. The fucking girl's head was ripped off. This show is ruthless. And I felt that sink to my stomach. And Levi's gonna fucking lose it. Oh, oh my god, I feel so bad for him. The emotional music, his grunts. Those screams were painful. That was the most emotional thing in the show so far. Those screams were so painful and agonizing. Wow. That was the best thing I've seen. That was incredible. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Seeing a character like Levi without seeing this, you're like, why is he so empty? Like, why does he have this empty expression on his face? Why does he feel so composed and like no emotion shown? Literally, we just saw why. We just saw why he's like this. Those screams were so fucking emotional and painful. Like, you felt those screams. I am gonna watch that scene so many times. And it's never gonna go away, that feeling of just feeling bad for him. Oh my god. This show is perfect. This was the best episode of Attack on Titan. Look at the, the, the girl's head is next to him on the floor. Oh my fucking god, dude. No way. No way! Oh, the song is back. Now it hits even more. Everything makes sense. This is insane. Beautiful. He's looking up to the sky. When he was talking to his other, his two partners, looking up to the sky, and he's always gonna remember those words, the birds. I know I say a lot when I react to Attack on Titan that this is the best show, but that was the best episode of the show by far. And I know it's not entirely continuing the story. I mean, it is in a way, but you know what I mean. Like, it's a middle episode showing something else. Like, it's not part of the episode one, two, three. It's more of like a 3.5. But god damn, I want a whole show like that. But even if I don't get that, I'm satisfied from what I just saw. They pack so much emotion and pain into a single episode, just part one and part two. You understand why Levi is this way. You understand his ambitions, his reason for why he's here, his emotions, battling humanity, his morality. Erwin, like I wanna see Erwin's come up 
And even if I don't see it, you know why. Because at a present day, we learn more about Erwin and his motivations and why he's so composed and why he has this, this goal, this meaning, because if his father was killed for hiding the truth or for having the truth, this was marvelous. And I don't even use that word that much, but this was just amazing. I'm so blown away by what I just watched. And I haven't done this yet, but I'm actually going to watch this episode again right after I edit this video. This was incredible. Those screams that Levi had when he was killing that aberrant or that abnormal titan, that was like one of the greatest scenes of anything I've ever seen. That was... God, wow. What a show. What a character. This put Levi like number one for me now. Like I loved him before. He was in my top three, battling Erwin and and, and um and Hanji, number one without a doubt. Seriously, I can't wait for him to go off like that again in present day. Like with all that is built up strength that he has now and built up emotion anyways guys thank you so much for telling me to check this out and not letting me skip this like you made sure i was gonna react and see this because you knew you knew what this was gonna do to me i hate you so much anyways i will see you all in the next video this concludes attack on titan week does that mean i'm stopping attack on titan reactions no fucking way no no i'll become an attack on titan channel before i actually stop making it attack on titan videos okay anyways i love you guys so much i will see you all in the next video goodbye